Y'all ask why he's scared to battle me. Now it started making sense. Like the royal family learning Meghan Markle had a kid. He's been scared because he had no idea how dark it's gonna get. Come on, I don't like to boast. Yeah, funny. I have friends in high places too, and mine have sniper scopes. Let's go! Let's go! Yo, London, we ready? Yeah! Let's be really biased for this one, okay? Okay! Let's go. So I'm the UK's most active. I've been battling every month and cutting my teeth. I did have November off. Till out the blue, I'm hit up by YD. He said, I got a name you can't say no to. I said, run it by me, I am fucking knackered. It's better raise my stock enough to double my fee. He said, I got you Anderson Burris. I see. <laughs> oh, God. Good job you got someone to film and run the live stream. Yeah. <laughs> I don't care if you got some fire angles, a couple nice schemes. The pit is my house, so where the fuck are my keys? Right. Mm. Let's go. See, let me give you your flowers oh, first, Anderson. Because you. you're an intelligent bloke. Bloke means man in this country. Because <laughs> <laughs> with video software, you're top tier. As a director, the GOAT. Almost no one can match your production values when you promote or edit the shows. Mm. Problem is, this is a live performance. Your best work's in post. Mm. So before you spit about me getting lead in the dome or whatever you wrote, promise me you've got your head in the zone. Mm. I am a pro from Premier Battles. I didn't come to battle Premier Very Pro. pro. Oh. Let's go! Because yes. in this country, I'm the promo king. This is just me defending the throne. You bring an American to the office, I'll take a scalp, leave him looking like Kevin Malone. Mm. As we approach Let's things go. similar. We've both got jokes and bars about violence, but masked under a layer of charm and politeness. Yeah. But I can only go so far on this island, and I'm trying to extend my reach till I have the arms of a titan. In the yard of rapping, I'll make him Charlie Chaplin and turn a farce into silence. Yeah. See, I'm not a fan of fake angles. Usually I don't let that near my rounds. But if I imply you're racist based on nothing, something tells me they'll hear me out. <laughs> Yep. See, I don't really think he is. But can we say for sure we know that he isn't? But <laughs> <laughs> would it rather we separate the art from the artist? Like colonialism? Yeah. Crazy. You look like a tech bro venture capitalist who thinks Trump should only get a slap on the wrist and doesn't want to talk about where you were and what you were doing on January 6th. <laughs> Swamp in the main event. Anderson made us take him out. It pissed him off to see Swamp so high because Trump said he'd have it drained by now. Mm, yeah. I guarantee your white friends have effigies of Mike Pence. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry about it. Let your mind rest because tonight your life ends. They'll say it was a close fight in London. Came down to a knife edge. Ooh! Because it's not about, it's not about whether your ops write better rhymes than yours. It's because when they see you, they think you came to gentrify this sport. Because <laughs> you're not just white, but extra white. The sort of white that speaks to police or testifies in court. <laughs> <laughs> the sort that replies to tragedies on Facebook like, this would have never happened if people read the Bible more. <laughs> See, I, was, I was worried that was me, and that was a terrifying thought. But I put in the grind and got good over time on an ever-rising course where I expect my final form to make every champ on every league look like they've kept the title warm. Mm. Rounds Whoa. one and two are for catching bodies. The thirds to set like the corpse. Jeez. Go. Yeah. Oh. Everyone who's battled you has called you a pedophile. Everyone who's battled you has called you a pedophile. <laughs> and I'm not saying that that's right, but if everyone said I looked like a pedophile, I'd make some changes in my life. <laughs> I'd figure out what I gotta fix. This stuff is common sense, but you look in the mirror every day and think, nothing wrong with this. <laughs> 2021, UK battle rap was having a fantastic year. Unfortunately, that's when Gast appeared and started his little rap career. Walked in, started acting weird, completely killed the atmosphere. People thought you were a school shooter, and those don't even happen here. <laughs> You make people feel uncomfortable in every social setting. They see you and they stick up their nose like COVID testing. I know being this short and ugly has got to be so upsetting. You've been mad ever since Shrek ruined you and Fiona's wedding. More for what? Oh, shit. 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 O
I yeah. believe you. I get nervous every time this bum stands around me. You look like you were born in the uncanny valley. You walk into the room. You walk into the room and just drain the energy. Every time I look at you, I cringe like Facebook memories. You said you said looking like a sex offender has made it hard as an actor. You're not the hero who saves the girl. You hide in the dark and attack her. <laughs> <laughs> you said looking like a sex offender has made it hard as an actor. You're not the hero who saves the girl. You hide in the dark and attack her. That's why marketing matters. What parts were you after? Ezra Miller starred in The Flash. You look like Ezra Miller if he starred in The Flasher. <laughs> That's amazing. <laughs> Y'all really think that this is the guy who's going to be tough to beat? The emo kid who loves to rhyme, really? Struggle T. Mm. I know yeah. I keep harping on your appearance, but what I'm trying to help you see is that you look so bad. This is a bad look for me. Wow. You call yourself. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> you call yourself the Anderson of Peterborough, and I find it egregious. I know I told you I was flattered, bro, but I didn't mean it. You're not a challenge to me, Dash. You're just a slight inconvenience. I will check you without thinking like a license agreement. No one cared about this battle. I mean, I didn't need this. You're probably writing a thesis about why I'm a genius because you're a Stan. And for you, this is a Ooh. lifetime achievement. You're the only one of my fans who was excited to see this. Come on, man. Yeah. You can keep copying me, but this point's just getting corny. You stopped using your original voice like Rick and Morty. You said when it comes to geography. <laughs> you said, you said when it comes to geography, Americans are all dumb. You mocked us because we're bad at maps, but you can't put yourself on one. You took Yo! Oh. Oh. You're bad at Come on. Please take that. You took You took all those battles You took all those battles thinking you would have a lot to show for it Just to walk away with nothing like you robbed the socialists That's a huge red flag but it is not the Soviets I don't blame you, I blame them Y'all need to stop condoning this Before this battle, every video I dropped was smoking him So you calling yourself the promo king is not appropriate You getting back to back 30s like you popping opiates Cause my promo is like a playground You cannot come close to it Broken <laughs> My promo is like a playground. You cannot get close to it. Bro, get over it. You got some issues to resolve. You've really been moving weird. Even your most avid fans have been saying you're losing clear. But you made the Shoddy Horrors League. Why aren't you moving tears? You're a video editor, bro. You gotta learn how to use Premiere. But see, this is why... I came to London so fresh like I got the breeze on me. I surveyed your whole town, I'm not talking Steve Harvey. They hit me up to film this so I got the stream starting. I'm going overboard on caffeine like the Boston Tea Party. Come on, look, nigga! Come let on! Let me fill you in on all the work that I do. I'm a stagehand, the way I'm pulling curtains for you. Y'all might see me as a waiter because I'm serving this dude. Plus I'm big and I can fight, so I'm security too. Come on, nigga! Let me fill you in on all the work that I do. I'm a stagehand, the way I'm pulling curtains for you. Y'all might see me as a waiter because I'm serving this dude. Plus, I'm big and I can fight, so I'm security too. I'm doing every single job that a person can do. I'll check the stream while I'm rapping to make sure that it's smooth. Hey, They'll say, oh, 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 I check the stream while I'm rapping to make sure that it's smooth. They say all I am is jokes, and that is certainly true. I'm a comedian. Y'all see the way I'm working the room? Yeah, see, yeah, what hurts yeah. me with you is the way you perform. It lacks animation. It sounds like you're giving us a class presentation. I notice, I notice every time you get on stage and you rap, you keep your arms at 90 degrees, and I hate you for that. It is not the right angle. Just relax for a brief sec. It's not the right angle. Right angle. Come on, nigga. Just relax for a brief sec and remember Battle Rap already has a T-Rex. It's off-putting, it's upsetting, and it creeps It's off-putting, it's upsetting, and it creeps the fans out. So even if you could rap better than me, I'm still winning hands down. See, as a battler, I've had my highs and lows. But a promo in this country, I'm the GOAT. Entirely self-made. You seem like the type to gloat about guys you know. Introducing yourself like, I have daylight and Rhone's number saved on my iPhone. <laughs> I don't like to boast. 
Yeah, funny. I have friends in high places too, and mine have sniper scopes. Ooh. Ooh. Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! Places too. Mine have sniper scopes. You are the whitest oh. bloke. You're, you're like a boardroom executive interpretation of battle rap. A 90s cartoon child with rollerblades and a backwards cap. Your career in battling is really baffling. Cause let's wind back, look at the time lapse. You started in smaller leagues, a polite lad amongst the white trash. And you treated them like insects to a fly trap. You wanted bigger plates, asked them to feed you more. Ryback. back, time flies fast, year after year, five pass. Now you fire, go back. Oh. Wait, bring that back. back. Bring and you fast fire. You ask for bigger plates. Ask him to feed you more. Ride oh, back. Right. Time flies fast. Year after year, five pass. Now you edit, direct, and perform for eye battle. Bags and bodies made that beautiful video to eulogize Pat. Had a high clash with Snake Eyes. Snapped on URL. I've seen you stood beside Smack, and despite that, I'm still not convinced you like rap. <laughs> <laughs> no one believes you really care about this rap shit. You're not what you claim to be online, like a catfish. You're getting on. Go. You're getting on in years, Anderson. This is when your parents expected grandkids. <laughs> yeah, you can give your rounds all the spit and polish. I guarantee that Hitman Holler's not going to send your kids to college. <laughs> I mean, is this really how you make a living? It's like you only do this because someone told you you were sick and forgot to tell you they were kidding. <laughs> <laughs> but let's talk business. <laughs> but, let's, uh, yo, so. but let's talk business. Because you asked for three rounds when you went one-on-one -on -one with me. But I didn't find out till his promo if we were locked for one or three. Mm. Before I could learn this, I had to wait for him. And best believe it's made my patience thin. Mm. Paper thin, mm. wafer thin, mm. razor thin. Mm. Is, this, is this how he always does business? Just to take the win? Because if I'm only scratching the surface, I'm going to break the skin. Oh. Oh. Yo, let's go. Let's go. Yo, if I'm only scratching the surface, I'm gonna break, break the skin. skin. Fuck the snaky shit. Your dirty tactics are as subtle as JK Rowling naming Asian kids. <laughs> what? Oh, oh, I, know, I know your goal is to yo. That's crazy. I know your goal is to cast disaster on film like a dash cam, <laughs> but all I see on screen is a pussy like Snapchat. Oh, you, right. yo, you can't match gas. You want to chat smack? Get a black bat swing into the back of the head. Since you want to be avocado so bad, I'll be a hipster. You are getting smashed for my bread. Mm, yeah. See, the standard of your writings are a matter of opinion. I'm sure it's sick on the page, but when it's hitting the stage, it's lacking in conviction. And saying you're a fucking dweeb is an accurate description. <laughs> so ring the bell to say I won like cancer in remission. When, yo, I said ring the bell to say I won like cancer in remission when I put him in a box and have him vanished from the stage like a glamorous assistant. Come on. I'll be honest with you guys, the only reason I came here to, to London is to, uh, to sell drugs with T-Top. <laughs> he was stuck in an unfortunate spot needed his wife friend to help if we get cornered by cops. I dress nice so they can't tell if I'm a lawyer or not. I had to check with my connect to make sure it was locked. I planned on a drop coming like I shorted a stock. All the luggage that I brought across the border was hot. I mean, none of it was legal. Like the porn that you watch. <laughs> None of it was legal, like the porn that you watch. I upgraded the grade, hacked the school mainframe. I made the stash change colors like a Kool-Aid stain. I packed the drugs in the clothes. I made the stash change colors like a Kool-Aid stain. I packed the drugs in the clothes. So when that suitcase came, I was taking the H out of things like UK slang. Mad The drugs in the clothes, so when that suitcase came, I was taking the H out of things like UK slang, bad tink. Videos posted like a food cart. Videos posted like a food cart. They're pushing a mill, because like an Instagram chef, I'd be cooking for reals. I don't care if you guys nice oh are not. Nah. Nah. Leave alone. He goes like a food cart. It's pushing a meal because like an Instagram chef, I be cooking for real. I don't care if you're nice or not. Bro, I'm looking to kill. If we try to box, I'm Michael Scott. I'll put my foot in your grill. Now I would reference now I would reference the Ricky Gervais version, but back home we've never watched it. 
But didn't America help free you guys when the Nazis held you hostage? Every time we've gone to war, bro, our side has never lost it. I'm not saying America is your boss, but we do have the better office. Now, I'm only saying that. I'm not saying America is your boss, but we do have the better office. Now, I only say that because you make fun of us a lot. I've seen what you do. You said Americans love their guns so much they bring them to school. That joke is easy to do, but I agree that it's true. Of course Americans love guns. They want us freedom from you. So if you think you're safe, talk crazy. Talk heavy. So if you think you're safe when I get home, you seriously got it wrong. I grew up playing duck hunter. I could shoot you from across the pond. And y'all are fucking oh. Well, get ready, this kick's deadly. This is the second time y'all gonna have to see Americans get messy. I mean, I've heard, I've heard, I've heard. This is the second time. Mad <laughs> You're about to see Americans get messy. But I heard you married a girl from America. You did? I'm like, game respects game. Looks like my gun and... <laughs> you married a girl from America, I'm like, game respects game. Looks like my gun and your Tinder settings got about the same range. You <laughs> he hit her up. <laughs> you met. You married a girl from America. Hold it down. You married a girl from America. I was like, game respects game. Looks like my gun and your Tinder settings got about the same range. He slid into her DMs like, hey girl. I don't know if you've recently seen, but both me and my country are in need of a queen. Now in America. <laughs> Now, 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 in America, girls traveling abroad has always been tough for dads because they've seen Taken. They know girls can fall into tons of traps. They can get kidnapped, sex trafficked, bodies get stuffed in bags, or they can marry Gas Buff, which is honestly just as bad. <laughs> but you made her, you made her move here to Britain which is disappointing to hear, because Prince Harry and Meghan Markle both destroyed their careers just to move to the States. So it would sort of appear it's better being a citizen in America than being royalty here. Ooh, but you said, wow. he said, he said his cool. wife's parents, that didn't really land with y'all. Okay, that's too far, sorry. sorry. <laughs> yeah, uh, royal crazy. Crazy. My bad. Crazy. Yeah. But he, he sent a wedding invite to her parents. They said, look, we should really plan to go. Sure, this guy is creepy, but he's clearly a romantic though. I mean, his invitation is impressive. This is such a fancy envelope. Let's just see what day the wedding is. And oh, this is a ransom note. <laughs> her parents must be furious. I know I'd be very pissed spending 18 years to raise a girl who leaves and marries this. So I reached out to her, so I reached out to her parents and made them aware I had this trip. And they wrote a letter that they wanted you to have. And here it is. This is their way of saying that their daughter cannot keep staying here in Britain. She needs to go, she needs to go back to her country. It sounds racist, but it isn't. <laughs> This is their way of saying that their daughter cannot keep staying here in Britain. She needs to go back to her country, which sounds racist, but it isn't. I mean, the way that she's been living, she is basically in prison. So I will end this round by reading y'all the statement they have written. What are you saying? What are you saying? Hold down. It's from your in-laws. Dear James, your name's James? It is, yeah. <laughs> Dear James, weird name. <laughs> we hope this letter finds you well across the pond in Bristol. We've been doing well, not much is happening here. The garden we planted last spring has been keeping us very busy. What started off as a hobby feels like a full-time job. I... Okay, I probably um, should have read this ahead of time because it looks like um, 
none of this letter rhymes. I was hoping they would say they hate you, but they actually say you're a special guy. They, um... <laughs> they mention it several times. All right, well, never mind. Here you go. I guess that's time. Sorry. <laughs> Freelance videographer and battle rapper. Must be hard to keep them separate and maintain a clean image. Just imagine his client emails. Anderson, hi, it's me, Bridget. Thanks for filming my, thanks for filming my sister's wedding. We've seen the footage, we're really pleased with it. Um, just a small thing, there's a part during the toast at 33 minutes that keeps glitching. There's some pops in the audio and the screen splitting. Uh, you also accidentally included a DVD of Sea Biscuit. It's just a minor thing, but could you at least fix it? He's livid. Emails back, dear Bridget, for every <laughs> He's livid. Emails back. Dear, Dear Bridget. Bridget, for every cut I have to fix, you'll get a cut that needs stitches. <laughs> Yo, you are a cheap gimmick. Go mm. outside, get laid, touch grass, seek bitches. <laughs> seek bitches. <laughs> if I had that voice, I'd only communicate by text message. <laughs> up, up, up here, <laughs> if I had that voice, I'd only communicate by text message. Up here sounding like Ben Shapiro mixed with Les Dennis. <laughs> Reddit moderator energy. Catch him chatting GameSpot stock and red pills. Makes his own highlight reels and YouTube shorts because he knows nobody else will. Mm. But to be serious, yo, I'll admit, what you do behind the scenes is a big part of what inspires me. Your level of promo is the highest peak I'm trying to reach. The fact this battle's even happening is like a dream. But that's all the more reason to prove you're someone I can beat. I never expected to be I never expected to be part of the members club to be given this platform to jump off and level up. Mm. And now I get to treat you like a Hollywood film and have my crew mess him up. Mm. Take, take out all the bits you want to keep, but these aren't director's cuts. Mm. This is going to be a fucking slaughter and the only thing not being cut are the corners. corners. I am meticulous at murder and I'm directing Andy to his death. We're shooting a remake of the Zap Ruder film. Head back and to the left. Fuck your previous opponents, I know you can't compare our bookings, but true story, I'll turn the VOD to found footage. Ooh, if, he, if he dredges up personals, I won't forgive him. Leave a fraction of a corpse desecrated, bones are missing. You cannot be saved, because I'm a newer version of you. You're being overwritten. Right. Come on, come on. Come on. Crazy. Come on. Yo, That's crazy. Let's go. Yo. You approach your battles like your promo, and to your credit, you do it well. You've got setups turning heads from multiple angles, and all that's left is to shoot yourself. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Let's, Let's go, go. Let's go. He won't say he hates black rappers. <laughs> Never. He won't say he hates black rappers, but he hints at it with the comments. Like, I'm just not a fan of artists who are spitting in a bonic. Start switching up the topics. It's getting obnoxious. He thinks Dr. Dre is overrated, but still listens to The Chronic. He's just skipping every song unless Eminem is on it. <laughs> but, if you think, but hey. If you think he only listens to white rappers, then you really need to stop it. Because he's also a huge fan of 50. Percent of logic. Okay, none of that is true. I'm just kidding with that. I watched your promo videos though, and I'll admit that they're trash. But in your promo for Melody, you admit to the fact that you don't like hip hop and you've never listened to rap. What? I mean, it's a pretty popular genre, though. You know how much of a hater you gotta be? First time he heard the Carter Three, turned it off. It's not for me. And honestly, it's cool. Honestly, it's cool. It don't gotta be for you. It does make this a strange hobby to pursue. That's my problem with this dude. He isn't even a rap fan. He bought a Tupac CD thinking it was a sequel to Pac-Man. Oh. He thought. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> <laughs>
Yeah. That's my problem with this dude. He isn't even a rap fan. He bought a Tupac CD thinking it was a sequel to Pac-Man. He thought drill music was just a sex playlist. Bro is unaware. He thought that he thought drill music was a sex playlist. Bro is unaware. He thought that Central C was just an ocean somewhere. I mean, you never listened to Premier. He thought Central C was just an ocean somewhere. You never listened to Premier or heard Dilla's famous cuts. Never bumped Dipset or heard any of Jada's stuff. You never heard of names like LD, Fab, Mason, Puff. You never heard of Big Mama Flash. Okay, I made him up. But like, you never listened to like. You never listened to like the Beastie Boys ripping through a verse. No, like New Era, like Lil Sims or Lil Uzi Vert. Not even Jay Z. Then this isn't gonna work. You can't treat me like the blueprint till you listen to it first. He doesn't, crazy to he doesn't care about this culture. He just likes the reactions. Like a moth to a flame, it's these lights that attract him. I look up at the sky and I'm asking, like, why did this happen? This is what B dot feels like every time that I'm rapping. I'm not saying we don't belong here, but some people feel that way. But you're British. I'm American. Hip hop started in the States. If I'm appropriating this culture, at least I'm around it every day. You're appropriating a culture from 3,000 miles away. That's a wild thing to say. It's kind of crazy. I went too far on the second round for the British joke. Sorry. Get comfortable, Anderson. That's a wild thing to say. But you're better staying put. But you never listen to Mob Deep. That's the reason James is shook. But you're ruining the scene. Oh you never listen to. You never listen to Mob Deep. That's the reason James is shook. But he's ruining the scene. I'm hate that I hate that I gave this look. Americans canceled Paula Dean. Why would I let this racist cook? Now I know how insane this looks because on the surface I might appear like I'm as white as him, but hip hop was created by African Americans. And as an American, I'm walking it. I'm walking it. And as an American, I cannot let this outsider in. Bro, all you are, all you are is humor mixed with simple rhyme schemes. You sound like me freestyling back in 2019. You think this is your year to shine? They brought this boy here to die. How are you five hours ahead of me, but still four years behind? Listen to me, James. Battle rap won't make you cool. You probably just should quit. I know losers in real life who are popular in this. Your wife's name is gonna keep getting dropped at these events, and if you ever try to cheat on her, then Caustic's gonna snitch. Before the start of this event, he was nauseous. He, he, he watched it. <laughs> Uh, Caustic's gonna snitch. Before the start of this event, he was nauseous, getting sick. Y'all asked why he's scared to battle me. Now it started making sense. Like the royal family learning Meghan Markle had a kid. He's been scared because he had no idea how dark it's gonna get. Come on, have the light. I like that one, I'm gonna run it back. Before the start of this event, he was nauseous, getting sick. Y'all asked why he's scared to battle me. Now it started making sense. Uh -huh. Like the royal family learning Meghan Markle had a kid. Uh -huh. He's been scared because he had no idea how dark it's gonna get. Go. But I like James. I think he's actually fire. He's a talented writer and he couldn't act any nicer. He's a genuinely kind person, which you have to admire, but of course he has a heart of gold. He's attracted to minors. Wow. <laughs>